is alive amen is alive jesus is alive forever is alive amen is alive amen is alive jesus is alive forever is alive Amen. Good morning, God bless you, and welcome. It's Saturday morning, the 18th day of November 2023. Congratulations and welcome to another beautiful day by the grace of God. I'm looking at something um, said by Paul the Apostle himself from Acts 26 and verse number 2. And there's a word and a counsel for so many people that one way or the other you think you are going through stuff. I wanted to follow the pattern of Paul the Apostle this morning. He said, I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I shall answer for myself this day before thee, touching all the things whereof I am accused of the Jews. At this point in time, Paul had the opportunity to be able to express himself before uh an independent fellow huh, that is not related with the Jewish council. And he verbally expressed his state of mind throughout all these times of persecution that he was undergoing. He said, uh, listen to me, King Abra, I am happy, I'm joyful, but now I am more happy because I had the opportunity to present this good news to someone else that will hear me as against the accusation from all of these Jews. Which means, when Paul was going through his times of challenges, times of difficulty, times of persecution, he was joyful and he was happy. In fact, Scripture said the other time, that everyone that must serve the Lord Jesus in holiness and impurity, they must go through persecution. I believe it was the same Paul that said, count it all joy, when you fall into diverse temptation, count it all joy. Hallelujah. Count it all joy. Count it all joy. When you fall, I believe, no, it was James that mentioned that. Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. When you go through challenges, when you go through things in life. He said because it's building up something inside your life and your heart that will result in something positive tomorrow. You are hearing my voice. You are going through very terrible, trying, stormy days in your marriage. Rejoice. You hear my voice? You are going through heavy persecution as it relates to your faith, just like Paul the Apostle. Rejoice. You are hearing my voice now. You are having challenging times at work recently. You don't even know where to turn to. And I'll send me a way to tell you to rejoice. You are hearing my voice. You are going through some terrible time in ministry. Things are not adding up. Things are not adding up. It's Saturday and instead of getting afraid because tomorrow you're going to see another thing that make your mind go sour. The Lord sent me a way to tell you to rejoice. The question is, why will I rejoice when things are falling apart? Why will I rejoice when the temptation is so intense? Why will I rejoice when I see if the whole world is collapsing on me? But let's again look at the life of Paul the Apostle. Why was he rejoicing in the midst of all of this? Some few things are so obvious. Number one, he knew very well that nobody will kill him before his time. Number two, he knew very well that he must fulfill his purpose on the earth. Number three, he knew very well that he will not die in the midst of this problem. And that's the same word I want to share with everyone hearing me this morning. It is often said that light will always shine at the end of the darkest tunnel. So this morning, if you can pick up courage like Paul the Apostle, and just reassure yourself, this problem, this challenge, this issue, I will see the end of it. He will not see my head. Then you will, be, you, will, you will summon up courage and retain joy in your heart. Number two, to know very well that you will fulfill your purpose. That challenge going on in your life will not stop you halfway. You will fulfill your purpose. And thirdly, you need to reassure yourself to the poor apostle, I will not die in this. I will not die in this. You have to resume and take this particular word into your heart that this too shall come to pass. Remember that tough days don't last. Only tough people do. 
And I repeat that. Tough days, tough situations, tough circumstances, they don't last. Only tough people do. Again, these two shall come to pass. So let's join in that wagon with Paul the Apostle. We are going to smile through challenges. We are going to rejoice through our problems. We are going to rejoice through our difficult situations. We are going to rejoice through our challenges. And as the Lord leave it, the light of joy will come at the end of this tunnel. You are blessed. Thank you, Father. I pray for everyone hearing my voice. The grace to retain God. The grace to carry God. And the grace to be fulfilled in His presence. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray as the Lord leave it, you'll be preserved. That this word will give you strength and power in the name of Jesus. Let this day be blessed for you. Go in peace and return back in peace. No weapon that is formed against you that will ever prosper. I condemn every demonic tongues. I cancel every demonic subscribers in the name of Jesus. Every satanic prescribers against you and yours. I cancel it in Jesus' name. I cover everyone hearing my voice with the blood of Jesus. Go and prosper and return back in peace. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you. Good morning once again. Thank you for being part of our morning devotion. Please share this with one another. Tomorrow is Sunday. Reaching out to everyone to join us. If you're believing God for a Bible-based world church, join us tomorrow in any of our locations in New Jersey. We're at 471 Clinton Avenue, Newark, New Jersey, right on the second floor. And in Texas, we're at 6014 Cold Drive, Rosenberg, Texas. We look forward to receiving you tomorrow. And the Lord will bless you. Paranata.